Hi, I'm Auntie Jessie, and here's your Auntie Scope for Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. Why is this bitch calling herself Auntie Jessie, anyways? Well, I'm the youngest of seven siblings, some of whom were well into their late teens and early 20s by the time I was born. So I had nieces and nephews being born around the time that I was. My first nibbling was born on my fourth birthday, in fact. But it's not our birthday yet. It's Ashley's. Happy birthday to my favorite blood relative that I didn't directly give birth to. I used to push her in her stroller and we used to eat popsicles in our bunk bed. We'd ride bikes into the canyon and when I'd be charged with babysitting her, there'd be the moment to hurry up and get in bed, pretend you're asleep, your parents are home. The best though was when it was her 12th birthday and she decided to have a camp out in the backyard with her friends. But she asked me if I could scare the shit out of them by doing some Blair Witch shit while they were out there. So we got a tent full of 12 year old girls and we got 16 year old me flickering lights, making shadow puppets on the tent, making ch -ch 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 <laughs> sounds and throwing rocks and you know, breaking sticks. And then my sister-in-law got in on it and even my niece was starting to freak out because she wasn't sure how I was able to be in two places at once making noises and flickering lights. And then there were all these fucking pentagrams made out of sticks hanging from the trees and all of these rocks everywhere and get out spelled in Oreos when they woke up. So anyways, I'm Auntie Jessie because I am wholesome and also because I traumatize tents full of kids. Uh, some of those girls are really fucked up to this day. Sorry about that, girls. But Auntie Jessie is still kind of wholesome. I think. Maybe not. Fuck. Well, happy birthday, Ash. I hope it is good. Anyway, Mars trying Uranus suggests a period of increased energy, enthusiasm, and creativity. You may find yourself feeling more open to trying new things, taking risks, and embracing change. You could experience breakthroughs, innovative ideas, and sudden bursts of motivation. But more importantly, my Leo niece's birthday falls directly on the new moon in Leo. How fucking cool is that, Ash? New moons represent the beginning of a new lunar cycle and are considered a time for setting intentions, starting fresh, and planting the seeds for future growth. Leo is associated with qualities like leadership, passion, and a desire for recognition. During this period, you might feel a strong urge to showcase your talents, be in the spotlight, and take on a more assertive role. It's also a great time to focus on activities that bring you joy and allow you to connect with your inner child. Go find a tent full of girls and fucking scare the bee Jesus out of them. You earned it. Don't get too cocky though, all right? Because your card is the Empress reversed because of course it fucking is. You might be thinking, I don't have any creative talents or any way to show off. You might be just struggling to express yourself creatively or find it challenging to bring your ideas to fruition. This card in reverse can suggest emotional challenges or a lack of emotional balance. You might be feeling disconnected from your feelings or maybe Finding it difficult to nurture and care for yourself or others. So check the fuck in with yourself. Drink, drink your meds and take your water. Make the appointment to have that thing dealt with, right? We ain't little kids anymore. We don't heal as fast as we did back then. This card could suggest difficulties in relationships too. Particularly those involving nurturing and support. There might be a need to address any imbalances in these relationships or perhaps working on communicating your needs more effectively. Not that the other motherfucker gonna be motherfucking receptive cause you know, we know who that bitch is. Anyways, happy birthday, Ashley. You be fucking safe out there. I love you. Don't die.